Hello and welcome to another episode of Mind Map. Today's topic of discussion is major industries in India. First of all, we will discuss about the introduction of the topic. Then we will discuss about general factors influencing the location of industries in India, industrial regions in India, major industries in India, and constraints in industrial development in India. First of all, let's have a look at the introduction of the topic. A country's economy is broadly divided into three sectors based on economic activities: primary, secondary, and tertiary sector. Industries are the part of the secondary sector. An industry is a manufacturing unit which converts raw materials into usable goods. The industries include the manufacturing of goods, extraction of metals, and provision of services. The beginning of modern industry in India is recognized with the establishment of cotton textile industry in Mumbai. In 1854, the planned development of manufacturing industries in India began in 1951. Now let's discuss about the major industries. An industry is categorized as a major industry based on factors such as its contribution to the country's GDP, the percentage of population it employs, and its gross business receipts. The major industries of India are iron and steel, textile, jute, sugar, cement. paper petrochemical automobile banking and insurance and information and technology now let's discuss about general factors influencing the location of industries in india location of industries is determined by several factors such as access to raw material power market capital transport and labor etc these factors influence the cost of production and delivery cost of manufactured goods to consumers raw materials Industries using weight losing raw materials are located in the nearby region of raw materials for example sugar mills iron and steel industry pulp industries etc power certain power intensive industries such as aluminium and synthetic nitrogen tend to be located near the source of power market nearness to market is essential for quick delivery of manufactured goods and it helps in reducing the transport cost capital capital or huge investment is needed for the establishment of industries labor availability of labor or skilled workforce is essential for success of the growth of all industries and transport it is necessary for the collection of raw materials and for the marketing of finished products industrial regions in india industries are distributed very unevenly due to the several historical and geographical factors major industrial regions of india are Mumbai Pune industrial region Hooghly industrial region Bangalore Tamil Nadu industrial region Gujarat industrial region Chhota Nagpur industrial region Visakhapatnam Guntur industrial region Gurgaon Delhi Meerut industrial region and Kollam Tiruvananthapuram industrial region minor industrial regions of India are Jaipur Ajmer in Rajasthan Kolhapur South Kannad in Maharashtra Karnataka Northern Malabar in Kerala Middle Malabar in Kerala, Adilabad Nizamabad in Andhra Pradesh, Allahabad Varanasi Mirzapur in Uttar Pradesh, Bhojpur Munger in Bihar. Now moving on to major industries in India, iron and steel industry. India was the world's second largest steel producer in 2018, second to China. Most of the industries are located at the source of raw material like Jamshedpur, Burhanpur, Bhadravati, Bokaro, etc. The first unit was set up at Kulti in 1874. In 1907, Tata Iron and Steel Company set up a plant at Jamshedpur. Cotton and textile industry. Fibers are the raw materials for the cotton and textile industry. The textile industry is one of the major and oldest industries in India. The first textile mill in India was established in Mumbai and the humid climate supports the development of textile industries. Automobile industry. India is the second largest in two wheelers, seventh largest in commercial vehicles, sixth largest in passenger vehicles and the largest in tractors. The automotive industry in India is one of the main pillars of the economy. The contribution of this sector to the national GDP has risen to about 7.1% now from 2.77% in 1992-93. It provides direct and indirect employment to over 19 million people. petrochemical industry petrochemical industry plays major role in indian economy and growth the petrochemical industry produces organic intermediate products such as refinery products natural gas plastic rubber fiber raw materials 
India is ranked as sixth largest player in the global petrochemical business with a market size of around 190 billion US dollars. The Indian petrochemical industry is a highly concentrated one and is oligopolistic in nature. The first effort to manufacture chemicals indigenously in India was done by Acharya P.C. Ray in 1901 with the establishment of Bengal Chemicals and Pharmaceuticals Works Limited. Fertilizer Industry India is the second largest consumer of urea fertilizers after China. India also ranks second in the production of nitrogenous fertilizers and third in phosphatic fertilizers. Because of limited reserves of potash, its requirement is met through imports. Important PSUs are the Fertilizer Corporation of India Limited, National Fertilizers Limited, Hindustan Fertilizer Corporation Limited, etc. Pharmaceutical Industry India is the largest provider of generic drugs globally and is known for its affordable vaccines and generic medications. The Indian pharmaceutical industry is currently ranked third in pharmaceutical production by volume. Generic drugs over the counter medications, bulk drugs, vaccines, biosimilars, and biologics are some of the major segments of the Indian pharma industry. Indian pharmaceutical sector supplies over 50% of global demand for various vaccines, 40% of generic demand in the US and 25% of all medicine in the UK. The domestic pharmaceutical industry includes a network of 3,000 drug companies and 10,500 manufacturing units. Now let's have a look at constraints in industrial development in India. Lack of efficient infrastructure and manpower, improper location base, India has been unable to convert high economic growth into economic development, regional imbalances, loss in public sector industries, and lack of capital and industrial raw material are some of the problems, and land conflicts arising from land acquisition. Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, prelims question. Mumbai is the largest center of cotton textile industry in India and is known as the cot to no polis of India, but Ahmedabad has some added advantage over Mumbai. Identify one advantage of Ahmedabad from the following statements. It is not in the cotton growing area. Land prices are lower. Ahmedabad mills produce some of the finest clothes or climate is good. And now main question. What factors affect the location of iron and steel industries in India? Trace the change in the location of iron and steel industries in India since the early 19th century. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.